So I've been wanting to make this video for a while because in most of my laptop videos, I always talk about aspect ratios and how happy I am to see one over the other. But I feel like there are still quite a few people who might not know which aspect ratio makes the most sense for them. First though, huge shout out to LG for sponsoring this video as we're gonna be using the brand new LG Gram 2021 to showcase the 16 by 10 aspect ratio. Also, quick thanks to everyone for hitting the like button. When I create different videos that are not my typical reviews, please keep doing it so I know to make more videos like this. So what is an aspect ratio? Well, it defines how wide and how tall a display is. Don't get this confused with screen size because that's completely different. What the aspect ratio really does is determines the shape of the display. You see, the majority of laptops have always been 16 by nine to replicate the same aspect ratio as your TV. TVs support the common resolutions that you've heard of, such as 1920 by 1080 or 3840 by 2160, which is 4K. But the problem is laptops are not just for watching movies and playing games. They're also used for reading, productivity, and design. Let's take the Lenovo ThinkPad X1, for example. This is a productivity-based laptop, and it has an aspect ratio of 16 by nine. Beside it is the LG Gram 17 that uses 16 by 10, and the Surface Book 3 that uses three by two. Right off the bat, the Lenovo looks the best for watching movies since there's no black bars. The Surface Book 3 looks the worst since the screen is closer to being a square and the Gram 17 sits somewhere in the middle. As for gaming, it's a bit different, as most gaming laptops can support different aspect ratios, which eliminates those nasty black bars. But depending on the game you're playing, having a larger horizontal field of view can be beneficial to seeing incoming enemies. Now, if you're buying a laptop for work and you're writing documents, browsing the web, or developing code, three by two displays, like on the Surface Book 3, is the best option. The vertical space you get brings you closer to what it's like to read on an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. You don't get that cramped feeling you'd get on a 16 by nine display. So if 16 by nine is the best for content consumption and three by two the best for productivity, why bother with 16 by 10? Simple, it's the best of both worlds, the sweet spot, perfect for the student or office worker who's typing notes all day, but at night is streaming on Disney Plus or playing their favorite game. I personally like it for video production because it keeps my timeline nice and wide, but offers me an extra 10 to 12% vertical space to see my program monitor. And some of you are probably thinking 10 to 12%, that's nothing. But trust me, it makes a big difference, especially when you're reading text. The last thing is a form factor. A laptop like the Surface Book is boxier with the greatest amount of depth. A laptop like the Lenovo ThinkPad is wider, but not as deep. And something like the LG Gram 17 is just as wide as 16 by nine laptops, but not as deep as the Surface Book. So these are things you have to consider if you're into how the laptop feels in your bag. With that being said, I personally feel 16 by 10 is the best way to go for most, which is exactly what the LG Gram 17 is using. If you're interested in picking one up, the 2021 model comes with an Intel 11th gen processor, Evo certified, and only weighs 2.98 pounds. If you need something smaller, they have a 14 inch two in one and a new 16 inch model, which has been ranked in the Guinness Book of World Records as the lightest 16 inch laptop. Now there are links to it in the description down below, along with my non-sponsored review. So here it is. If you're strictly gaming and watching movies, stick with 16 by nine. If all you care about is documents, coding, and office work, just go with three by two. But I personally feel if you want the best of both worlds and you live in both worlds, get something like the Gram 17, which sports a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. If you have any more questions about this video or the Gram in general, let me know in the comment section down below. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.